This is Mystic Glow Lady here, and I am going to do a general tarot reading for May 2015. Now, I've cleansed my cards with my crystal. The crystal will take out the energy from the prior readings, and I'll shuffle a few more times. And Princess of Swords on the bottom the energy that you have to work with. Don't let anybody tell you who and what you are, because that's beneath you, what you have to work with, and you will fight for your rights till the end. You are happy this month. Uh, cups in your, in the King of Cups in your first house. You are happy. I mean, you've, you've got the the tiger by the tail, and you're ready to swing it around. Just don't be a fool when it comes to uh, your cash flow, okay? Don't be throwing around all your cash, okay? Hold it in, because there's new things that are coming. There's new birth, new beginnings, new creations, the communications, talking about money. There's money to be had. There's money to be had. Um, the material trouble, Six of Pentacles, uh, Fourth House, the home. What is it that you need to communicate about your home? You know, it seems like you, you got it, but it's like, oh, okay. Don't be going out and partying too much because it's going to affect your home life, okay? Um, if you party too much, it's going to come back, okay? Um, Aquarius love people. They love to get out and about, but it's telling me that for those of you who are out there overdoing it, it's going to cost you in the long run, so is it even worth it? You know, what's the communication? You know, keeping that communication o open, um... You know, it's 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 it, you're it's it's going to be a little bit challenging if you are a fool with your money. If you're just going out and and traveling a lot and and talking big and bad about money, um, it, it's it's um that's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge, people. Aquarius, um, you know, it's it's uh, get a grip. Get a grip. Life isn't always just one big party. Um, it's um, it's responsibility. It's responsibility too, and it's taking care of of responsibility. Even though um, it might cost you, um, taking care of responsibility is, um, you know, if you don't take care of responsibility, you're not going to be happy. Period. Okay. Um, those of you who aren't happy with the way it is now, uh, there's money there to go to school. There, there's money. There's a way. You know how can how can you do it? Well, you know right here it's saying that hey man, I can communicate about money and I'm not going to be a fool and blow it. I'm going to be creative and have a new beginning, a new birth, a new creation with money. Okay. Uh, learn how to do that. Don't just blow it, you know. I, I'm, I mean, really, because it's not. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging to um, to carry on in the form and fashion that it's been, because it hasn't always been straight up and up. You know, a big, big part of it. You know, the moon being happy with with your work, with your with your um, with what you're doing in your job, the valor. You know, are you a are you the the usual Aquarius who cares about humanity and doing something to change humanity? Because if you're not and you are being more of the, of the, you know, it's all about me, right in the middle, I'm in the middle, and everything is going on. No, it's not really going to bring you happiness. Your happiness is going to come when you get out of yourself. 
you know, when you make a career in order to help others. You know, there, there are a lot who are less fortunate than you are. That doesn't mean to get out there and throw your money around, remember? You know, because wealth isn't monetary. There's other things besides money. Now, if you have money to throw around, yeah, you know, throw it to those who need it. Make a difference in humanity. Service is good for that soul. It's going to make you feel a whole lot better, you know. It'll make you feel just as good giving to someone else knowing that they need it, as it would be to, well, you're going to feel a whole lot more better if you give money to people who need it. You know, that service is good for the soul. If you've never felt that feeling, being an Aquarius, dang, maybe that's what your block is. You know, get out there. If you see a homeless you know, don't just throw them a dollar, but actually go and say, hi, how are you? You can ask how you got here. Maybe they'll tell you, maybe they won't. But if you tell them that you want to make a difference in this world and, and how could you help them, it might give them something to do to think about exactly how, if they don't know how they're in that position either. So... Aquarius, you have a good month ahead of you. Keep yourself out of it. It's not all about you. Remember, you're Aquarius. That's the humanitarian. Get out and serve. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great month.